Hello and welcome to Lagos Voices. I am Dejvadi Masi and thank you very much for joining us. Now, we want to give you the latest updates on uh, those uh, three women who were tortured at uh, the Ijugo Central Market. Of course, as you know, one of the women died and, uh, well, the culprits have been arrested. So we were told last week, but as a matter of fact, the latest development is that not all of them have actually been arrested. We've actually been in touch with... Uh, the police, even though the police isn't saying much at this time, but we know that some of the guys in the video, some of the guys who tortured the women that you can see in the video, some of them have been arrested, but we understand not all of them have actually been arrested. And that um, before the end of the week, uh, the, the others would be arrested and uh, we might possibly see them arraigned in court very, very soon. But all we can just tell you now is that um, the police is on top of the case. As a matter of fact, it is a federal SAS that is handling this case. We understand not all of them have actually been arrested and that um, before the end of the week, uh, the, the others would be arrested and uh, we might possibly see them arraigned in court very, very soon. But we are still waiting. We're still waiting for further developments. We're waiting for further developments when these guys will be arraigned and we'll see what um, the Office of the Public Defender will do. But all we can just tell you now is that um, the police is on top of the case. As a matter of fact, it is a federal SAS that is handling this case. The police is on top of the case and uh, investigation is still going on. And some people have been in custody now for quite a while. We understand over, 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 over about 10 of them or so have been in custody and that the, the police is still trying to get uh, two principal suspects. And uh, as soon as they're, they're arrested, we understand they'll be coming in very soon. As soon as they're arrested and the interrogation is completed, um, well, the suspects will be arraigned in court and of course will be in court to bring you that development. But um, that, that's the latest we have on it. But we're keeping our eyes on that case because justice must be done for those women. And we've continued to say this, we'll continue to say justice must be done for those women, especially for Julie, the one who died in uh, that assault. Now, let's turn our attention to something else. Uh, as you're aware, recently there was a crisis in the Lagos State University. Students of that institution poured out on the streets not quite long ago, protesting the increase in fees in that school. Of course, the increase wasn't done this year. It was actually done sometime in 2011. So the students came out to protest that. Besides, the students also protested that they were not allowed to register, um, to, to, to actually register their courses for, for this semester. As a matter of fact, we were told the internet portal was shut down, and so some of the students who had actually paid their money could not register. So that's what we're looking at today. We'll try to get um, the views of the authorities. We'll try to get the views of the students as well. And right now on the program, I'm being joined by two students of the institution to give us their own side of this, um, this, this, this crisis. As we speak now, the school is shut down. The students are not in session. And there's no question at all that for some of them who are planning to go for youth service or who are about to graduate, they would not be doing so. And uh, two students now join me. Ayedu Olamide is uh, a student of LASU of the Department of History and International, International Relations, Relations, right? Yes, sir. And we also have uh, Dayo, yes. who is also Dayo um, Onoyemi. Onoyemi, who is also a student of history and uh, international relations. Thank you very much, guys, for coming on the program. Welcome. Let me start with you, Ayedu. Yeah. Tell us, what exactly is the problem? Why did you guys come out on the street uh, some few weeks ago, demonstrated, and then you went into your school to destroy, I mean, you, the students, went into your school to destroy several property? Um, thank you very much. You're welcome. Um, the protest started exactly 23rd, I mean, 22 of um, January. January. And, you know, the, the students that were affected, you know, went to the VC, you know, like, okay, protesting. What, what, which students? Why were okay. they affected? That they were not allowed to register? Okay. Just give us a picture okay. the, 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 uh, um, the, 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 the portal was shot by the school authorities. So usually when students want to, uh, at the end, at the beginning of every semester, you're yes, supposed sir. to go online. Online for, your registration. for your registration. There's a portal for your registration. Yes, okay. exactly. So you're expected to register you know, for you to qualify to do examination for the semester. And when you, to, for you to register, you must have paid your fees. You must have paid your, your school fees. Yeah, so okay. the, 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 the students paid their school fees and the portal was not open 
for them to make their necessary registration. As we understand now, that there was supposed to be a time when that portal would be open. Open, and then exactly, okay. exactly. Now, you know, the students, you know, about 1,292 students were affected. You know, that's the nine, now that's nine percent of the total population of okay. the institution. Yeah. And these students, oh, they, they went to the management appealing for, for them to open the portal so that they can register as well. But the major reason, uh, 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 the major reason why those students protested was basically because their issue was not addressed, neither was it given here to. So that's why, as in... So they the went to, to the school's uh, management to open the portal for them to register. The school management says, well... That the time has passed, they will not they be able to do so. Register, exactly. But they've already paid their fees. But they've paid the their school, school management fees, has exactly. collected their has money. Has collected their money, but they were denied access for um, um, for for, for registration, registration online. Online. Now, registration. what what would what would be the implication? Since they had paid their fees, yes, that they were, they had not they couldn't register. What 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 would have been the implication of that? They would not be able. Simply, the, 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 the implication is they will not be able to write exam. So that would be automatic carry. That would be automatic. So they'll be spending an so extra year. Spending, spending an extra, extra year. But the school management is providing another avenue that okay, if you are spending another year and if you are denied access to register for this semester, that means the next session you'll be registering, but you will not necessarily have to pay. Okay. But then the time is but lost. But then the time is lost. It's lost. So is that is that the only issue? Because uh, fine, I understand that. But in the course of the protest, too, we saw the students also complaining that the fees is too high. How much do you guys pay now? Anyway? Now, right, right now, as in the, uh, for the four hundred level student, four hundred level student and three hundred level student pay twenty five thousand. So you're not affected by uh, the we're increment. not affected by the increment. But the under level student and the three hundred level student pay uh, one hundred three thousand for the education student. Then for the uh, law student, they pay two hundred fifty thousand naira. Then for the med uh, medical student, they pay three hundred fifty thousand naira respectively. So the school fees has been increased in 2011. So we can also say that that, 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 that was an, a remote factor exactly. that led to the uh, protests. That the, the, the student, were, because some of the students said that they, they weren't able to pay in time. So they couldn't meet up with the deadline set, set well, by the why, why were some of them not able to pay on time? Uh, the reason why some of them were able to pay, they were, they were saying that um, their parent couldn't afford that amount of money at that particular time the, the school management but they didn't be able to pay because there was, there was a deadline because this for, payment. for payment the school portal opened uh, opened uh, when we resumed about four weeks and it was open up to july before the strike started last year so so the uh, this the, the student uh, could not make up with the, with the deadline so they were they were, uh, they were not allowed to register and this triggered them to go on the street and protest. protest. Okay. You, you yeah, want to say something? yeah, I want to say something. Mm -hmm. Concerning the, the protest, you know, you could say that um, the closure of the porter actually was um, the immediate factor because um, as students of history and international relations, we are taught that, you know, they are, there is no um, monocausal factor, factor to an event. Event. We must have a remote factor and we must have the immediate factor. factor yeah. mm -hmm. Then if you're looking at it from this view, the remote factors basically is because of the increment in school fees. Are you get, are you get my point now? Then the immediate factor is the closure the of the porter. Of the porter, because ordinarily, if the porter issue has been resolved, then maybe the issue of the increment in school fees would have come up, would have come up and possibly um, 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 encourage their agitation. When you got admission into Lasso, yeah. has, had your school fees always been 25,000 all through your uh, four yes, years? Yes, uh, all through my four years, my school fees were 25,000. Yeah. But uh, seeing now that um, only 11 and 20 levels are paying 25,000, yeah, we can see that uh, that thing uh, is causing problem and crisis in the school. And uh, most of the students and even the masses, the general public, Nigerians, the Lagosians are not happy with it because Lagos State University is the only university in Lagos. And um, and only state in, only state investing in the state investing in the and you increasing it now is like you jeopardizing the uh, the, the interest the hope of the masses, of the masses who are yeah. intending to come to the school and become educated, enlightened, and able because to. Because uh, if not, I would have said, well, there are quite a number of public I mean, university, private universities private in Lagos. So but co co I mean, as regards the issue of the increment in school fees, I think on that basis, you know, the the the, the main the main reason for public. University is 
for as many students who cannot afford to go for private university is for them to fall back is for them to fall back mm. on something which is a public university that we have and Lagos State is one of them a state owned university and it should be of the opinion that okay this increment should even if there's going to be an increment in school fees it but it should be, be a, a discount yeah. as in for this stipulated amount but for now i think to a large extent is outrageous how would you guys suggest this should be resolved because now, we have to close now now i think the way i will say that you should resolve that as in uh, the legal status assembly has given an injunction and that a committee should be set up that i should investigate into the matter and they given that that the student should should write an apology letter to the uh, student you know and that uh, I think uh, the the school management to follow the directives of the negotiation of assembly law. And they should open the and should open and the water, should water for the students for student to register. So, right so there can be yeah. lasting peace, and you can student will be happy, and the uh, school academic calendar. But, will not but be do you think even if the issue of this portal is resolved, there won't be any problem at all when the issue of fees is not tackled? When the issue of the portal is actually resolved, I would say that in its totality. Possibly that the students are not still happy with the rate of the increment in school fees. So let's say we are open that, okay, after the opening of the portal and the students are allowed to do the examin examination and we go for our service, that, okay, this, there will not be any protest. Whatever protest such. will be probably exactly. after you after guys are exactly. And you yeah. guys are not bothered. bothered exactly. But obviously, <laughs> we are really affected. We are affected. As in, because I haven't spent six months at home. At home. Also strike and with the hope of resuming them writing the examination is right. another protestation. Alright guys, I have to thank you guys for your contribution. Let's just hope the issue is resolved and uh, let's just hope something is also you know, there's there's some kind of resolution to this issue of school fees as well. Yes, and, um, well, I hope that you guys are able to make it and eventually go for service this year. Amen. Thank you very much, uh, Ayudu, okay. for coming on the program. And thank you very much, Dio. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much for your contribution. We're going to take a short break now. When we come back, we'll be speaking to a lecturer of the institution who has a completely different view on this issue of school fees. Stay with us. Once it rains, we don't go out. That is the reason why the student died three months ago when the rain fell. One of my brother died for this road, one of container. This girl of girl of where you see, you can't fall for his head. Race Ipsa Lokuto. The fact here speaks for itself. I cannot bring my car to this place, even my business has been crippled up. They have been spending a lot of money on this road, but now it's above our power. I will be making efforts right up, calling, meeting the media houses, and one way or the other. We have a negative response. We hit Beirut when we need to be done. This is only God can start it in a definite time. This road has been like this for almost 21 years. The chairman is apparently wrong in terms of his commission. I went to the council. They go there to meet him three times. He doesn't even attend to us. How soon will this road be done? What's it mean? This road? We have to look at it that way. I can't give you a word. Welcome back. As I said before, we're now being joined on the program by a lecturer, a lecturer at uh, the Lagos State University. He is uh, Dr. Ademi Rudwan. He's actually a lecturer at the School of Communication. Doctor, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very program. much. It's a pleasure um, being here. Qu quite unfortunate what is happening, uh, uh, you know, in your university today. And uh, of course, as we speak now, the school is shut down. But tell us, what, what do you make of this crisis? Well, thank you very much. The, the, it's, it's quite unfortunate that this is happening at this time, shortly after we have just resumed after a long strike long of six strike, months. Yes. And um, the, 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 there are a lot of issues involved. But one central issue which I see in the matter is this issue of the school fees. I'm talking as a Lagosian. And how is that connected to the portal that was not... Uh, yes, the, the port, you see, I'm talking as a Lagosian now because I have... A stake as a Lagosian in this matter because it affects the life of our younger ones. This university was established to serve, I mean, to develop the human resources of Lagos State. And over the years, for the past 30 years, this university has been in place. Until recently, about two years ago, when this fee came up. And since then, last year, I mean, I've been in crisis, particularly with the students. 
So that they, the students have been in pains all along. They've made efforts several times to appeal to the manager and the government, but I mean, they, 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 they were not answered. And that is the key thing. Now, the issue was that the students, some of them paid. I mean, these fees are high. Some they couldn't pay. So they had to scramble, I mean, go over places to get this money paid. And because of that, they, I mean, they were delayed in registering for those courses. That is the issue. And if we want to resolve it, the government or whoever is concerned should see to this matter of school, I mean, of school, school fees. It's too high. A minimum of 200 to 350,000. Where do you expect civil servants to get this money? Where do you expect and of parents? Some of the students are, of course, where do you, of civil servants. Yes, civil servants, the peasants, the market women, I mean, the artisans on the street. Where do you expect to get this money? I was pissed off last Wednesday when one of the top government officials came up on air, one of the radio stations, and said he gave three reasons why they had to increase the fees for, of last week from 285,000 to 350,000. It's not heard of. Today, as I speak to you, last week's fee is the most expensive, that is the expensive university, government university in Nigeria. Now, he said he has, he has these three reasons. One, that they needed quality education. Which is good. Two, he said because some parents are paying as much as over 100,000 per term in primary and secondary schools. And three, that the government is spending about uh, 9 billion uh, on last year every year. Now, I don't, I don't want to ask some questions. Does high fees determine quality of education? At the teacher level, it doesn't. We are there are measures all over the world. We know what are those things that determine fees. But only government schools. We're talking of, I mean, human capacity here, the lecturers and the facilities there. And if we have been able to run this university for 28 good years, you cannot tell us now that it is now because we want to introduce it, now we want to be quality there. Lasso has been able to produce professors, doctors, legal luminaries, experts in various fields, who are even permanent secretaries within the government. So you cannot tell us you are bringing quality. Quality has, has always been there. Our law students have always been in the forefront. Our American students have been in the forefront. Our community students have been in the forefront. We produce first class. Or, and who, who can compete anywhere in the world? So the question of quality does not come in. Two, that some parents pay as much as 100 plus for yeah, primary school. Pri 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 I want to ask the officer in government, who is at this as, as a reason, what is the percentage of those parents? What are their jobs? How do they get their money? We know what an average citizen gets in Nigeria. So how can you use that as a justification? That case is an exception. It cannot be the rule here. This is a government university. Three, he said, they spend about nine over billion. nine billion. Now I ask them, we have the facts. We know how much the government generates monthly. Over 20 billion monthly. To, I mean, without the share from the national, internet generated revenue. So if you have 20, 20, let's say take the list of 20 times 12, how much is that? That is 240 billion. So if a government who is responsible, who claims to be responsible to the citizen, Cannot spend nine billion on university. Are you complaining? So where are we going from this? Look, sentiments are parts. Our governance, our management. It's, it's, it's quite surprising that you're <coughs> something like this because some some people would say, well, you are part. You, whether you like it or not, you are sort of part of the management of this institution because you're a lecturer there. Well, let me tell you. Yes, yes. Well, that is a part. I'm talking as a Lagosian. I'm talking as a Nigerian citizen, not as a lecturer. If we talk there, I'm employed to teach. But this mother affects me as a Nigerian, as a Lagosian, because our government has a right, has a duty to educate our children. Some of them will say, okay, Lagosians are not educated. How, where do you want Lagosians to, go, uh, to get educated? Where do you want, you want, you want, you want to turn our children to touts? Primary, secondary education, we want them to be clerks and, and we want them to get men? No, we are not going to accept that. It's not tenable. This policy is anti people, it's oppressive, it's obnoxious. And I want to tell them, look, they should remember. Alaska Kode gave us this school to develop our human resources. And this school has performed wonders in the lives of Lagosians. So it, is, it will be wrong for any government. Because sometimes, Asu took up this matter. Asu Lasu. Yeah, okay. We took it up as an official that we have seen that this is affecting the university negatively. I will present our views. But they say, no, it's a policy matter. 
But my question is, are policies meant to oppress? Policies are meant to make things better for the people. Uh, let me ask you now, since the fees, I mean, of course, the, uh, the, the new fees yes. were introduced uh, two years ago, and uh, the government says, uh, you know, it will improve the quality of education in the institution, infrastructure especially. Uh, have you noticed any significant uh, infrastructural development and, uh, you know, an upgrading of your equipment in the school since... Uh, you the... need to make, you need to go into the university and see. Nothing much has been done compared to the past. Well, they have some few things they are doing. Maybe the Senate building and maybe one or two. Even the, the, the studio which we are using was donated by, to, by the government. So since then, what have they done significantly? Go into the class and see what is happening. I don't want to talk about that, but I'm going to fix that. Those that cannot be justified. This is a government. Look, I have sympathy for APC be because, some, and because look, no, let me tell this, you, this is really not about politics. Because no, 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 no. I want to say, <laughs> I need to clear it. No, I want to say it. Look, we have hope in the party that runs this state. I will believe, I will believe that they will educate our children. Yes, we are doing something at the primary, secondary level, but at the third level, the effort is not enough. It's not enough. And we are saying it. Parents are crying. Parents are in pains. I tell you, there are some children on my streets who got admission into the university. But I tell you, their parents are prisons. Where would they get 350,000? Who got admission for engineering into electronics and computer engineering? 300,000. Minus fee, minus books, minus accommodation, minus feeding. What are we talking about? And so you, in a public as, as a lecturer, are you, are you not bothered that, um, you know, if, if these fees are not paid, your salary might be affected? Look, let me tell you, let me tell you, that is not what is important. The student first. If the students are not there, we cannot be there. And I tell you why. I give you the sense that we have run this university for 28 years. So it's not a question of trial and error. People have come in there and gone as administrators. But this policy is, anti, is not progressive. Now, give me an example. If you say, okay, you because of student, you want quality, but the students are not there. The last admission, the present admission, you will tell you, because since they introduced the, the, the students have been dwindling. They've been going away from Nassau. As of the last admission, you have a, a faculty whose capacity is about 350. Now they have less than 50 students. In some departments, you have three students applying, five students, nine students for a faculty. How do you call that? What do you look? Because the parents cannot afford it. Even those down board, the reason is that they had to go into some other things to get this money. Parents are crying, but they don't have a voice. And I'm happy you are giving them the voice. Some of us will take the risk. It doesn't matter. Look. Some of us have to stand out for this cause. It's a just cause. Because it's, it's a bold move you're, <coughs> you're making of now. Of course. You, you Look, I'm talking a, as a Negotian. You, you are a I'm worker. I'm talking as a Nigerian. It doesn't matter. Forget about it. I have, if it doesn't affect me, because Lagos has not trained my children. But what I'm saying, look, I'm saying I have families, I have people who are suffering, and I must speak for them. I'm not talking about, I'm not talking here officially. I'm talking as a Lagosian, as a Nigerian who has the right to a voice. If the government can come on and tell us, we also have the right to let the people know what is happening. We are begging them. That policy is not kind enough. That policy. So what exactly? Is not, in rounding off now, what exactly would you want to see? Because we just have. We have said it. That's what I said. It. All the units have said it. There should be a downward review of the fees to less than hundred thousand naira. There was a case. A, 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 a lady, young lady from Badagri Division. Had to go as fast on those states. Many of them are going out of Lagos. Will they be kind to Lagos when they come back? When the state are not educating them and they are being educated elsewhere? This is the same as 70 30. So, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? You want to turn our youth to destitutes, to area boys? We say no to that. We want a review of that fees. People are crying. People are in pain. I'm in pain. I bring within myself. Not because of anything, but because we, s we do not see a bright future for our youths. And we have a duty as elders to talk out, to talk out. No matter what, whatever happens, God is more than every one of us. I want to say that our leaders should be God-fearing. And that's exactly what he gave us this school. To train our children. I get it. Now some people are taking them away from us. We are not happy. Well, I will you. not keep quiet on this. 
This is our appeal. The, whatever is the reason, Lagos has the money. <coughs> I tell you one thing. Oko State has two universities. Is Oko State richer than Lagos? No. And Lagos university. is richer. You have one university. Now, Kano State has two universities. Is Kano State richer than Lagos? No. And we have one. And yet, is this one we are complaining about? We cannot, I mean, adequately maintain it to the pressure of these young ones. We don't want destitute in Lagos State. Thank you very much, Thank Doctor. You. Thank you very much, Dr. Ademi Rudman. Thank, Thank you very you. much for your contributions. Well, uh, that's where we have to draw the cutting on the program uh, this week. Uh, hopefully, we'll get uh, the reaction of the state government on this. We actually try to get in touch with um, the uh, special advisor to the governor on uh, education. That's uh, Fatayo Lukoga. Unfortunately, we're not able to get him to come to the studio. So we're, we're still going to keep trying and try to get the, the reaction of um, the, the management and, of course, the government. But uh, that's it. And uh, let's just tell you that... Um, if you wish to write to us on any issue at all we have dealt with uh, on this program, it's, it's so simple, or you have comments to make it simple, you can do so via email <coughs> address, and the email address is feedback at lagosvoices.com. Uh, you can also get across to us on Twitter. Our handle is at Lagos Voices. We are also on Facebook. The address is uh, facebook.com forward slash lagos.voices. And if you want to see previous editions of this program or lots more, you can simply visit our website. It's Lagos uh, Voices. Dot com and uh, you can also visit tv com. but if you want to put a call through to us you can call the following numbers 080-5543-4490 or 080-2111-8506 we look forward to hearing from you until next week i am deji badimasi i'll see you then